James is going to review Hittite myths. And we're having some carrot juice, and I'll mention Supernatural. And this is what we got from the Salvation Army today. Um, there's an avocado in there. Uh, but half of it's potato. But anyway, we got some almond danishes and blackberries. Very awesome. But um, my carrot juice... From we, the store. From the store. We paid, paid for the carrots but they're very cheap right now they're yeah it's harvest time so um, what is it the 15th of September so mm -hmm. um, I better put this one back in yeah it's There's, attracting the yeah. ones like crazy but anyway every time we eat the almond danishes I think of that flowers in the attic um, have you ever read you ever read it no so this is Hittite Miss second edition uh, by Harry A. Hoffner, Jr., and uh, this is a Society of Biblical Literature, this is SBL, Writings from the Ancient World series. It's actually quite a good series. I think it's all tense. No, not all of it is um, translated into English, or just solely translations. Uh, I, I've got one thing I sure put out by this, in this series that is... Um, what is it? Um, texts from the so-called Libyan period in Egypt. It's not Libyan. It's Assyrian. Not Syrian. Assyrian. The Egyptologists got it all wrong. They locate these people with Semitic names. Not just Semitic. Not just Mesopotamian. But Assyrian. Not just Assyrian names. Assyrian royal names from places that are identif easily identified as capitals of Mesopotamia, Assyria, in other words, Nineveh, Asher, um, Ur, and uh, Babylon. But uh, no, they say Libyan because their chronology is all we're going to say bass act. Well, it's not quite bass backwards, but it's all screwed up. Anyway, uh, this Harry Hoffner is, uh, what is he? Harry A. Hoffner Jr. is the John A. Wilson professor. So John A. Wilson was a, I don't know if it's uh, kosher to call him Orientalist. <laughs> it's so politically incorrect. Uh, professor and co-director of the Chicago Hittite Dictionary. University of Chicago. So I've got a few uh, selections from that Chicago Hittite Dictionary. Um, must have bought them about 20 years ago, stuff like that. I, they're probably even more expensive now. And they're just the little bits. I don't think they've uh, actually put the uh, complete thing up. So it's got a little bit of a glossary in here uh, explaining uh, what some of these gods were, some of the technical terms, uh, some of them would be uh, Hittite, some would be, uh, well here's a Hurrian goddess, uh, Hur Hur uh, the Hurrians were located, uh, well, they kind of mislocated them, they locate them in the uh, kind of like uh, their capital, Washigani, they're so stupid, they're saying that uh, it's in the Kashiari mountain district, it's what the, uh, I'm giving this one away, it's the, what the Assyrians called, understand, the Hittites were uh, using a word to describe a foreign place. Okay? So, Washakani is not the way it would have been in the original Hurrian language. And uh, the Assyrians, again, they would be describing it, they would use the term to describe they would uh, not spell it the proper way. They wouldn't even pronounce it the proper way unless it was really, really, really exceptional. Eh? Uh, an, except, uh, an exception. So, Washigani in Hittite is Tushkad in uh, Assyrian. So they say, we can't find, we can't find Washigani. Yeah, you're looking in the wrong place. So you've got to come down to the foothills of the Kashiari in the Euphrates Basin. Why would they have a capital there? The Hurrians, they were powerful. In the time of um, 
King Tut and his dad and granddad, or what looks like his grand and gra dad and granddad, the Hurrians were counted as one of the five great powers of the Middle East, of the Fertile Crescent and its extensions. So the other ones were Babylonia, Assyria, Egypt, the Hittites, and then the Hurrians. So they, they've got their capital in the Kashiari Hills. Get off of it. It was on the Euphrates, you stupid. Not the Euphrates, the Tigris. You stupid idiots. You guys aren't as stupid as the Egyptologists, but gosh darn it. Darn it. Anyway, uh, it's got a pretty good uh, little uh, glossary here. And um, then it's got a bibliography. It uh, looks to be pretty, and I've gone through it. But it looks to be pretty, uh, pretty. Uh, I won't say complete, but uh, fairly, um, well, not exhaustive, that's not the proper term, but it's, it's fairly extensive. There we go. And it's got a little map here. No, no, the one, pro they got, finally they figured out the Hulaya River is the Hulaya River. You know, like, but they've got a question mark here. So this is, yeah, yeah. You know, like um, a long time ago, I figured out the Hulaya River is uh, this little river here. Although they've got uh, Arzawa lands, they finally figured out that that's basically what they figure is later Lydia. No, no, no. It's the same as Lydia. Luca land, they got that right. That's Lycia. Velusa, uh, they didn't get that right. That's Ilion. That's where Troy is located. They actually have Troy located properly. Congratulations, Hittiteologist. Very good. Upper land, they've got the right of place. Uh, lower land, they finally figured out where it is. But uh, they've got, what is it? Petusa. No. PDS or PTS. Uh, in Egyptian script and stuff like that. They, they, I think they still locate it in uh, Pisidia. Mm, yeah, that, that involves uh, uh, metathesis, and these things happen from one language to another. But what it really is, is this little peninsula here, Petusa. Petusa, got that straight? Petusa, see how strategic it is at the mouth of the, uh, the Hulaya River? Access to the lower land. There's a little bit of a pass there and see how it's it comes close to uh, Cyprus This is where the ancient Near Eastern got copper. See how strategic it is? Pisidia, what would the Egyptians care about Pisidia? It's inland you stupid idiots. It's Petusa Okay now, they got Tarkantassa down here, or Datassa, they're not sure how to read it. I think they finally decided it's Tarkantassa. Tarkund was a, uh, a, a youthful god, kind of like warlike of strength. So I asked a, uh, a classical uh, scholar, you know, like uh, someone who doesn't have a stake in this. Sight on scene. It's, it's a, I did this blind. And I said, if you were going to get some sort of uh, classical uh, uh, cognate, as it were, for uh, a, uh, uh, a, a young hero god in the Greek tradition, who would it be? And he said, Apollo. Second choice? Heracles. Okay. There's a place called Eregli. And it, originally it was something like Heraclea. In here, not down here. That's where Tarkandasa was. Okay? That's the southern Hittite capital. Right in the middle of the lower land. Not down here. Do some homework. Okay. So, aside from that uh, little problem with the map and stuff like that, and the guy's just not doing their job. They're getting a hundred, a hundred fifty thousand, I don't know what the, the big dudes get. A hundred, hundred fifty thousand a year, that might be a under, under, underestimate. And they're not doing the job! Do the job! But uh, this basically does uh, the job. It's kind of interesting to go through. You guys will find this boring as, um, I'm not